Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the cable rope crunch. So with this movement, a common mistake that we see all of the time is not using the abs as much as you should. So the big part of this movement is first understanding what the anatomy looks like. So we're talking about that rectus abdominis muscle. So that six pack muscle, which one, we have to know kind of where that origin and insertion point is. And so looking at the difference of kind of where those are and bringing those together. So one, we have an attachment point at the sternum, which is right here. And the second attachment point is actually at the top of that pelvis. Okay, so actually pulling in these two directions. So when we're looking to do the cable crunch, all we're looking to do is bring those points closer together. Okay, it's bringing that sternum down to the pelvis. A big thing with ab training is going to be breathing as well because a big part of the abs job. Um, and a, lot of job a lot of muscles within the core itself and around the rib cage are to assist in breathing. So in terms of breathing, this is going to be a big one. So when we're looking to go through the movement uh, and start the movement, again, remembering those attachment points and what we're bringing together, so as we're breathing, as we're wanting to go through the concentric portion of this movement, we're wanting to actually start to breathe out. So breathing out our air and crunching together. Now, when we're looking to bring that back up, looking to extend at the spine, and you may be even able to start to contract your erectors, your spinal erectors back here, be able to fully lengthen that rectus abdominis muscle. That's a little bit more advanced, so I would suggest kind of just to start out with that crunch and extension, so that flexion and extension motion. So I wanted to get that explained before I sit down and actually kneel down rather and explain what the cable crunch is all about. So getting into a position, you can use a rope, you can use one of these little V bars, whatever is easiest for you. So here's a few different attachments that we have or options too. So we have a rope, we kind of have a V bar, whatever's gonna have your arms into a comfortable fixed position about here, okay? I have these straps. This is probably the most comfortable for me in, in terms of looking at my frame and how I'm set up. I'm using knee pads here. So we're looking to get it set up here. So whatever you're using, just go ahead and grab that, get yourself kneeled down into a good position. In terms of setup here, you want this cable to either be kind of out in front of you or directly over your head. You don't want it to be behind you. So we want this in line, the resistance in line with kind of where those ab fibers are gonna be and where we're gonna be contracting and pulling against the resistance. So when looking to get set up here, get your hands in the straps, get your arms in a nice fixed locked position. And then from here, looking to breathe out and just bring that sternum to our pelvis. So a common mistake here that we see all the time is wanting not only to incorporate some of the upper back muscles, maybe some of the arm muscles, but even exaggerating and exploding into that movement. Again, not what we're looking to do. We're looking to actually focus our attention into those abs, into those rectus abdominis, put a lot of intent and a lot of attention into those muscles themselves and really, really focus in on getting a good solid contraction Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.